Welcome to Iris Logic Channel. In today's video, we will dive deep into the Angular framework, a powerful front end JavaScript framework widely used for app development. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, this video will provide you with in depth knowledge of Angular's key concepts and features. So, let's get started. Angular is a robust front-end JavaScript framework that is widely used for app development. The framework is developed and maintained by Google and the open source community. Let's explore some of the most important Angular concepts. The framework has many features, like two-way data binding, templating, routing, components, dependency injection, and so on. Here is a list of the most important Angular concepts, modules, components, templates, data binding, directives, services, dependency injection, and metadata. Angular applications are organized into modules, which serve as containers for grouping related functionalities like components, directives, and services. Angular components. Components define the behavior of a specific portion of the screen, encapsulating the HTML template, styles, and logic. Angular Templates Angular uses HTML-based templates to define how the components view is rendered. Angular Data Binding Angular's two-way data binding enables the synchronization of data between the component and its template ensuring that any changes made in the UI are reflected in the corresponding model state, and vice versa. Directives Angular provides custom attributes called directives that enhance HTML syntax and attach behaviors to specific elements on the page. There are three types of directives, component directives, structural directives, and attribute directives. Services in Angular are reusable functionalities that are independent of views. They are used to share data and logic across components. Angular's dependency injection system facilitates the supply of dependencies, such as services, to classes, services, or components. This promotes modular and testable code. Angular uses metadata annotations to provide instructions on how to process a class, whether it's a component, module, or directive, and specify injected services. Now that we have a good understanding of Angular's key concepts, let's explore some of its advantages. Angular follows the Model View Controller MVC, architectural pattern providing a structured way to organize and develop applications. It facilitates bidirectional data flow and updates the real DOM efficiently. Angular consists of different design patterns like components, directives, pipes, and services, which help in the smooth creation of applications. Angular's built-in dependency injection system simplifies managing dependencies between components, making it easier to develop and test complex applications. Angular's strong opinion on code structure encourages developers to write clean, modular, and easily testable code. Advantages of data binding, Angular's powerful data binding capabilities enable developers to establish seamless connections between the UI and the underlying data, providing an excellent responsive user experience. Angular templates are written with HTML that contains Angular-specific elements and attributes. In combination with the model and controller's information, these templates are further rendered to provide a dynamic view to the user. 
In Angular, annotations, also known as decorators, are a way to add metadata to a class or class member. They are used to provide additional information to the Angular compiler, which can then use that information to configure the class or its members in a specific way. Annotations are created using the at symbol followed by the name of the annotation, and they are placed before the class, method, or variable that they are decorating. There are several built-in annotations in Angular, including at component, which marks a class as an Angular component and provides metadata for the component, at directive, which marks a class as an Angular directive and provides metadata for the directive, at injectable, which marks a class as a service that can be injected into other classes, at ing module, which marks a class as an Angular module and provides metadata for the module. Directives are attributes that allow the user to write new HTML syntax specific to their applications. They execute whenever the Angular compiler finds them in the DOM. Angular supports three types of directives. Attribute directives change the appearance or behavior of an element, component, or another directive, structural directives change the DOM layout by adding and removing DOM elements, component directives used with a template. This type of directive is the most common directive type. The ahead of time compiler converts the Angular HTML and TypeScript code into JavaScript code during the build phase, that is before the browser downloads and runs the code. Some of its advantages are as follows. Faster rendering, fewer asynchronous requests, smaller Angular framework download size, quick detection of template errors, better security. Pipes are simple functions designed to accept an input value, process, and return as an output, a transformed value in a more technical understanding. Angular supports several built-in pipes. However, you can also create custom pipes that cater to your needs. Some key features of pipes in Angular, pipes are defined using the pipe symbol. Pipes can be chained with other pipes, pipes can be provided with arguments by using the colon sign. Pipes are also used to transform data in the template and format it for display. Angular provides several built-in pipes, such as date, filter, and lowercase. You can also create custom pipes to meet specific requirements. As the name suggests, the interface receives an input value and transforms it into the desired format with a transform method. It is typically used to implement custom pipes. Pure pipes are pipes that use pure functions. As a result of this, a pure pipe doesn't use any internal state, and the output remains the same as long as the parameters passed stay the same. Angular calls the pipe only when it detects a change in the parameters being passed. A single instance of the pure pipe is used throughout all components. A pure pipe is only called when Angular detects a change in the value or the parameters passed to a pipe. In simple words, pure pipe works only when the component is loaded. An impure pipe is called for every change detection cycle no matter whether the value or parameters changes. An impure pipe is called often, as often as every keystroke or mouse move. In simple words, impure pipe works for every change in the component. The following diagram describes how Angular handles pure and impure pipes. Ing modules are containers that reserve a block of code to an application domain or a workflow. Adding module takes a metadata object that generally describes the way to compile the template of a component and to generate an injector at runtime. 
In addition, it identifies the module's components, directives, and pipes, making some of them public, through the export properties so that external components can use them. Filters are used to format an expression and present it to the user. They can be used in view templates, controllers, or services. Some inbuilt filters in Angular are date, filter, JSON, limit to, and lowercase. View encapsulation defines whether the template and styles defined within the component can affect the whole application or vice versa. Angular provides three encapsulation strategies. Emulated means styles from the main HTML propagate to the component. Native means styles from the main HTML do not propagate to the component. None means styles from the component propagate back to the main HTML and therefore are visible to all components on the page. The scope in Angular binds the HTML, that is, the view, and the JavaScript, that is, the controller. It as expected is an object with the available methods and properties. The scope is available for both the view and the controller. When you make a controller in Angular, you pass the dollar scope object as an argument. In Angular, every component has a life cycle. Angular creates and renders these components and also destroys them before removing them from the DOM. This is achieved with the help of lifecycle hooks. Ing on changes means responds when Angular sets or resets data bound input properties. Ing on init means initialize the directive or component after Angular first displays the data bound properties and sets the directive or component's input properties. Ing do check means detects and acts upon changes that Angular can't or won't detect on its own. Ing after content init means responds after Angular projects external content into the component's view. Ing after content check means respond after Angular checks the content projected into the component. Ing after view init means respond after Angular initializes the component's views in child views. Ing after view check means respond after Angular checks the component's views in child views. Ing on destroy means clean up just before Angular destroys the directive or component. String interpolation is a one-way data binding technique that outputs the data from TypeScript code to HTML view. It is denoted using double curly braces. This template expression helps display the data from the component to the view. Template statements are properties or methods used in HTML for responding to user events. With these template statements, the application that you create or are working on can have the capability to engage users through actions such as submitting forms and displaying dynamic content. Ahead of time compilation converts your code during the build time before the browser downloads and runs that code. This ensures faster rendering to the browser. To specify AOD compilation, include the AOD option with the ing build or ing serve command. The just-in-time compilation process is a way of compiling computer code to machine code during execution or runtime. It is also known as dynamic compilation. JIT compilation is the default when you run the ing build or ing serve CLI commands. TypeScript class is one that is used to create components. This genre of class is then decorated with the at component decorator. The decorato's purpose is to accept a metadata object that provides relevant information about the component. In order to understand what metadata properties are provided by the component decorator, please have a look at the following image. The image shows an app component a pure TypeScript class decorated with the at component decorator. 
The metadata object that gets accepted by the decorator provides properties like template URL, selector, and others, where the template URL property points to an HTML file defining what you see on the application. While both the concepts deal with asynchronous events in Angular, promises handle one such event at a time while observables handle a sequence of events over some time. Promises, they emit a single value at a time. They execute immediately after creation and are not cancelable. They are push errors to the child promises. Observables, they are only executed when subscribed to them using the subscribe method. They emit multiple values over a period of time. They help perform operations like for each, filter, and retry, among others. They deliver errors to the subscribers. When the unsubscribe method is called, the listener stops receiving further values. Angular template-driven approach, in this method, the conventional form tag is used to create forms. Angular automatically interprets and creates a form object representation for the tag. Controls can be added to the form using the ng model tag. Multiple controls can be grouped using the ng control group module. A form value can be generated using the form.value object. Form data is exported as JSON values when the submit method is called. Basic HTML validations can be used to validate the form fields. In the case of custom validations, directives can be used. Arguably, this method is the simplest way to create an Angular app. Angular Reactive Form Approach This approach is the programming paradigm oriented around data flows and propagation of change. With reactive forms, the component directly manages the data flows between the form controls and the data models. Reactive forms are code-driven, unlike the template-driven approach. Reactive forms break from the traditional declarative approach. Reactive forms eliminate the anti-pattern of updating the data model via two-way data binding. Typically, reactive form control creation is synchronous and can be unit tested with synchronous programming techniques. Bootstrap is a powerful toolkit. It is a collection of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript tools for creating and building responsive web pages and web applications. There are two ways to embed the Bootstrap library into your application. Angular Bootstrap via CDN Bootstrap CDN is a public content delivery network. It enables you to load the CSS and JavaScript files remotely from its servers. Angular Bootstrap via NPM Another way to add Bootstrap to your Angular project is to install it into your project folder by using NPM Node Package Manager. Angular supports both eager and lazy loading strategies for module loading. Eager loading loads all the modules at the start of the application, while lazy loading dynamically loads modules on demand. Lazy loading is particularly useful for larger applications, improving performance by loading only the required modules when needed. Angular uses the regular document object model, DOM, to update the HTML tree structure. It implements change detection to efficiently track changes and update the DOM accordingly, ensuring optimal performance. Angular follows the MVVM model view view model architecture pattern. This pattern separates the user interface logic from the business logic, making it easier to develop, test, and maintain Angular applications. We hope that this video on Angular helped you understand the technical key features of the framework. 
At Iris Logic, we have teams of developers and architects who can help you build your Angular based app design strategy. We have scores of internally developed Angular reusable UI components, which will help in rapid development and deployment. In short, it's ideal to have Angular front end, Node or Java E middleware using microservices architecture, Mongo or Dynamo NoSQL database for rapid response and caching, and Postgres or MySQL RDS for data persistence, supported by Python for reporting and machine learning prediction models. Best part, none of them requires vendor tie-in as all are open source technologies. Hosting on cloud service providers such as Google, Amazon, or Microsoft using Docker container approach allows a pay-as-you-go model, thus incremental costs as your business grows. We have engaged with top-tier and startup companies to help them plan, proof, and execute scalable Angular apps as cloud solutions. Contact us today. Stay tuned for more informative videos like this and subscribe to our channel.